welcome back to my channel. I've got something a bit different for you today. Um, I don't know if any of you read my blog at all, but I used to do a big a little like, post every month called um, Motivate Me. Those posts were more for me than for you guys to read, more because I'm the sort of person that I really need to try and motivate myself and I sink into holes um, and I get stuck in them and then I can't get out and things just, I feel like everything kind of goes wrong. So. They were more for me and more like diary entries for me to kind of pick myself up, remind myself um, that there are good things in life and you, what am I, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, I think you kind of get the idea, like it's like a diary entry where you have to like pick the good thing out of the day that happened so that you don't worry about the bad thing that happened, that sort of thing. And um, I was sat in the car trying to think about what videos to do today and it kind of popped in my mind like why not do that? Like I'm much better at speaking about things than I am writing it down. I find writing quite boring um, and don't get me wrong, I love, love my blog but I'd much rather sit here and speak something like when then little things come into your mind and you can just throw them out there than kind of typing them down and then you post it and you think, oh I could have said that, I could have said this, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to make this a monthly thing, I'm not sure, let's see how this one goes down. Um, but yeah, these videos are kind of for me to pick myself up, make me realise things that I've probably forgotten and put to the back of my mind and also to help you guys if you're kind of on a, on a low week or you need a bit of pick me up or yeah, you just need a bit more motivation to get you back on the right track. The other week when I went into Cambridge, um, I went into Oliver Boners and I found this little book here and it's called Always Look on the Bright Side of Life and it's full of tiny little quotes and short quotes that you can read every day and maybe give yourself a little pick me up and I, I always thought this would be perfect so for each of these videos I could pick a quote or something that I think I need to remember and and kind of talk about why I need to remember it, how you guys can help yourself do it. Chew your food, young lady, chew your food. Sorry. So I thought it'd be nice, so if I do carry on with these videos, to pick a quote from the book and kind of talk about how we can motivate ourselves from that quote, what it kind of means and what it means to me um, and how I like, interpret the quote sort of thing. So, Hopefully this will help you. I know it's probably going to be a massive help for me just to even sit here and talk about things because I've been through a pretty hard part of my life recently and yeah, still kind of getting there but I am getting there and I just find this sort of thing really helps. Like I'm the sort of person who I will just read like a positive quote and it will change my mindset for that whole day. That's just how I am. Um, so yeah, if this helps any of you, then give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like me to do more of them like this. I mean, they're not as happy and cheery as like a beauty video, but I find there's so many videos out there that are telling you how to look good, but none of, not many videos out of there telling you how to feel good, so I wanted to put one out there. The quote I've chosen for today's video is, um, no great thing is created suddenly, um, and I'm the sort of person that want something, if I want something to happen, I want it to happen there and then, I want it to be like right at the top of the game, right now, I'm not very patient, I think that's probably why, um, but yeah, like if I want something, for example, YouTube, I really want YouTube to be my career, I absolutely love doing it, I love the response I get from other people, it's absolutely amazing, and I just want to do this 24-7, all the time, every day, you get the picture, but it's a very, very hard industry to get into, much like when, um, before I got diagnosed with my arthritis, I was very much into musical theatre, I've got a diploma in musical theatre, like film acting, I absolutely adore, and maybe it shouldn't have, but it did, it kind of, I backed away from it big time when I first got diagnosed, and mainly because like I couldn't do the whole dance side anymore, um, not professionally anyway, and I just kind of hid myself away from it and half of me kind of wishes I hadn't because there's always somewhere you can go like okay I couldn't do musical theatre but I could have done straight acting that sort of thing but yeah I hid myself away from that and because that's a hard industry to get into this is kind of my 
I'm going on such a ramble, but hopefully you'll get the idea. This is kind of my in-between for that, so it's not so much performing like I'm me, but I'm entertaining, if that makes sense. But yeah, for that's my example. That's a really hard industry to get into, but so is this one. Like, there's so many amazing bloggers and YouTubers out there now that it's so hard to get noticed and to make it your career. Like, it takes years to build up your audience and to make it happen. And I'm, I really want it to happen now, and I know it's not going to, and it takes so much hard work to do it and commitment. And you just need to be willing to put that commitment into it. And if it's something that you love, that hard work and commitment will come so easily and I, I'm a strong believer in if you're trying to work your way up something and you're really not enjoying that journey, it's not the right thing for you to do. Like I am at the bottom of YouTube right now but I'm absolutely loving just sitting and filming videos for you guys, getting the responses, like I find it so exciting when I just hit like 50 views on a video, like that's a big thing for me. and. You just have to work hard, you have to remember to work hard and enjoy what you're doing. As soon as you stop enjoying what you're doing, you're not going to want to get there anymore and you're not going to work hard and then you're never going to get to the top of your game. And going back to the quote, no great thing is created suddenly. It's not going to happen like that at the click of a finger. You're not going to think, why well, go to bed one night and think, yeah, I'm going to do that, wake up and by the end of the day you've done it. It's just Life doesn't work like that. You have to put the work in, you have to put the commitment in and to get where you want to get. And like when you get there it's going to be absolutely amazing and you can look back on your journey and think I did that all by myself or I did that with help of these guys and you can create so many friends like in the journey of building something up you have to see it as a journey and not a struggle like it's a mountain that you've got to climb and the peak is going to be the most exciting and the best part of it and it's the journey of that that creates your peak it creates all the memories that you've got getting to the peak and that's what you have to remember that's what I have to remember is it's gonna take a long time and it's gonna be hard work but when I reach that peak and I will reach that peak it's gonna be so so worth it that's kind of all I have to say about that really I just need to make sure that I remember that it's gonna take a long time but it will happen you have to remember that it will happen and if you put the work in it's gonna be worth it let me know if you've thought to this video, I'm kind of thinking of maybe doing one a month, like I said at the beginning, but I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure how it's going to get taken, I don't know if it's going to be a bit too serious for people, people like a bit of fun, um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, these sort of videos would really help me if there was some out there that I could listen to and watch, um, and just see how other people have dealt with situations, how they have helped themselves get through certain things and the life lessons that they've learned through doing it and how they interpret different quotes and what they mean to them, that sort of thing. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that will let me know that you want more. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!